everybody and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my empty so I have like a bin like this in my bathroom where I just throw away all of my body care skin care hair care those type of items here I do not have any of my makeup empties in here I am going to be doing a separate video on just my makeup empties so because I have a little area in my vanity where I just chuck away you know, anything that I've used up, old mascaras, things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see, the first thing I have here is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleaning Facial Wipes. I didn't like these facial wipes and I have been, I use them completely up, but I have been trying to not use or not purchase facial wipes anymore because I feel like they tug on my eyes a little too much, but I just, I really didn't like these. They weren't big enough. They weren't like wet enough. So mm. another set of wipes that I didn't enjoy is the Perfectly Posh My Face Is Gonna Get Stark Naked Natural Face Wipes. I just, I didn't even finish these because they're just, they're just absolutely terrible. Okay, I have a soap here from Perfectly Posh. I used to be a Perfectly Posh rep. I no longer um, sell Perfectly Posh items, but I really like the company. I know a lot of people don't like direct sales, but I personally really like the company. I became a rep because it was a company that I felt comfortable buying their products and a lot of their products are affordable. Like these are only like $6 or something like that for one of these like really big soap bars and they absolutely last forever. They're cruelty free, vegan, just, you know, a really good company and they use a lot of all natural ingredients. So when it comes to skincare, I like to really try to use as much all natural ingredients as I can. Let me stop rambling. So this is the Where You Been All My Life. This was a coffee scented soap bar and I really did enjoy these. I'm just gonna get some of these bigger items out of the way. So I have a Redken hairspray. This is the Control Addict 28. This hairspray was okay. I mean, it was okay, but the big problem that I had with this and I don't, I don't really, typically have this problem even with larger containers. So I probably wouldn't like repurchase that just because I didn't like the nozzle and how just gunky it got. So I have a Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic, like um, the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Scent. I really, really like the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Even though I have darker roots and like blue hair, I don't really think it has too much of a white cast. I really like Batiste. A lot of people really like Batiste. I, I'm going to have a few higher end dry shampoos in the next couple of months during my empties because I wanted to kind of test out. There was a, a sale on the Sephora section or maybe it was Ulta. I don't even remember where you had like the the packs. We have like a two pack of dry shampoo. So I bought some higher end dry shampoos. I've only ever tried like sample like deluxe samples of higher end dry shampoos. So we're gonna see how those compare to my Batiste because I have one more bottle of Batiste left and then I'm moving on to some of that high-end stuff. So if you're interested to see how those dry shampoos work out, um, check out my next uh, make um, empties over the next couple of months. Okay, I have the Not Your Mother's Naturals Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler. I love this stuff absolutely love this stuff i spray this in my hair after i get out of the shower let it kind of sink in for a little bit before i go in and brush my hair and it really does help but what i like about this detangler is that it doesn't leave like a greasy residue yeah, like it helps to tangle your hair, your, your curls and moisturize your curls, but I still am able to go in with my coconut oil and other like lightweight oils that I use in my hair because I don't want my curls to get weighed down. So if you're, if you're looking for a really good detangler, I have very thick kind of Italian curly hair. This is one of them. I would highly recommend this. I get mine at Ulta and they almost always have a like a, a BOGO sale on these. Um, so I would wait for them to go on sale and, and, and try it out. All right, a product I did not like. This is the Moroccan Curl Re-Energizing Spray. It took me forever to use this because I just really didn't 
enjoy it that much. I think this was a product that I bought off the Sephora website and I bought this off of a recommendation from Kathleen Lights. Basically what this is, is like a curl re-energizer or revamper for like your second or third day curls. I brush my hair out and I like to revive some of my curls on the second or third day, especially after I use my dry shampoo. And I thought this product was gonna be absolutely amazing because again, Kathleen Lights recommended it and it was just terrible. I've probably had this for about a year. I've been working on it and I just didn't really like it. I would have to like mix it in with a few other products and it, it worked okay, but I just, I really didn't like it. And I typically like products that have Moroccan oil in it. So, um, another product that was just okay. This was the five in one hair rescue from Hair Essentials. It's basically like a leave-in conditioning spray. I really liked the spray nozzle of this. Sometimes my It's a 10, I really like my It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. Sometimes my It's a 10 gets like funky. So I may actually keep this bottle. Like I said, um, these are the Hask, not hair essential, Hask essentials. I think I got this in like a boxy charm or something like that, but I used it up. It was just okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase that. And I'm always on the hunt for a good leave-in conditioner because It's a 10 is a little expensive. Um, I do tend to get it at Ulta when it's on sale, but you know, so far I haven't found a good like spray leave-in conditioner. Ooh, sorry guys, I do have a little bit of hair here. So next up I have the Tea Tree Special Conditioner and the Tea Tree Special Shampoo. I love this stuff. I really like this stuff, especially because I put, you know, product in my hair and I also have oily hair because I have curly hair. Um, I sometimes need to like detach detox my scalp and this is like tea tree is basically like a natural de detoxer it pulls everything out um, of your pores and stuff like that and this is like a detoxing shampoo and conditioner that doesn't completely strip away my color if you so. do have colored hair a lot of times detoxing shampoos and conditioners just strip away your color so speaking of color i have the joyco color butter the color depositing treatment this is basically like a deep conditioner but with like a blue tint to it so i don't know if you can see that it has this blue tint to it it does say to wear gloves because this will stain honestly because i'm doing this in the shower i don't feel like putting gloves on when i'm in the shower i don't know like i feel like it washes away relatively easy like i put it in my hair when i'm in the shower and kind of leave it on like a deep conditioning mask and then i quickly wash my hands afterwards because i'm in the shower and it doesn't really stain that bad but i will say it does does tend to stain like the under part of my nails but honestly because i paint my nails i don't really I don't really notice it that much, but just, just be mindful of that. But if you do have colored hair, they do have a couple different colors in this line. This is a really great way to preserve your hair color. So I am able to really only get my hair dyed maybe every six months or so because I use these kind of color depositing treatments to keep my blue hair looking blue for this long. And this, by the way, is like professionally done. I don't, I don't do my hair color at home. I go um, to a salon and get my hair like professionally dyed this color. I have the Amica Keep Your Color Shampoo and Conditioner. Again, I bought these because I like to buy shampoos and conditioners that are specially designed to prolong your hair color because this, this, this ain't cheap. So the C Buckthorn Berry. I think both of these have C buckthorn, buckthorn berry and it's supposed to keep your hair color like vibrant and stuff like that. I mean, and honestly, I really didn't see a difference and maybe it's because I do use these like color depositing treatments, but um, it was okay and Amica is kind of an expensive brand. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't repurchase a shampoo and conditioner, but there are several products that I really do enjoy from Amica. So I do have their Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I really liked this and because I used this sample, I decided to buy the, the, the full size of it. So it's one of the dry shampoos, like the large size of it that I'm gonna be testing out over the next couple of weeks slash months. All right, and I have a bottle of the It's A 10. This is a Miracle Leave-In product. It's just a sample size of it. So personally, I 
I, I don't, I don't want to repurchase a large bottle because it got kind of gunky. I wish I could just purchase the smaller bottles, but the price difference, it's just so much better when you purchase a large bottle. So for that reason, I think I'm going to keep this smaller bottle and just refill it with the, with the larger bottle when it goes on like the Ulta. They do like the, the, the 21 days of, um, I think it's just like hair care products or like the big hair, hair days or something like that. So a product I did not enjoy, there was a trio of these, I believe. These are the Sugar Brush. Sugar Brush is like the skincare uh, line for Tarte. And I was really excited to try these. These were their whipped body butters and um, they're called like cake butters. And there was a trio of these. And this one was in the scent Sugar Cookie. And ugh, they just smell like like play-doh like honestly that's what they smell like they just don't they have a little bit of a sweet smell but not really like they just have like this play-doh-y scent and I just couldn't get over the scent but on top of that it just wasn't great like the lotion just wasn't great so for that reason I think I threw away the other two and I just ended up keeping this one I got it on sale thankfully but there's a reason why it was on sale um, but do not pick these up. They are so appealing because like I said, sugar cookie, they were all basically like bakery scents. They were just absolutely disgusting. I really, really hated them. All right, so I have a face mask here. This is the Sephora um, Moisturizing and Soothing Face Mask. This is their Lotus face mask. I really like sheet masks, but I have been kind of shying away from them because I've been using a lot of potted face masks. I actually had a few potted face mask empties, but I accidentally threw them in my normal trash instead of putting them in here. Um, and I, I talked about this during my current skincare routine that I've just, it's not that, that sheet masks don't work, I'm just not in the mood for them right now. So right now, like I said, I'm using these potted face masks. So I only have one of these to show you guys. So let's see, some more skincare. I have a sample here of the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner from Sunday Riley. This stuff stinks. It smells like butt. I really didn't like it and it didn't really do much. I think I used this like for a whole week just to give it a, a, a go. This is something that I would use in the morning time during my skincare routine when I wake up. I would just use like a cotton um, pad and you know, it's a toner, so use it as a toner all over my face to kind of help my oils stay in control all day. And I, I just don't like that. I, I use the Ole Hendrickson um, oil control, like their mattifying toner. This Sunday Riley thing is so expensive in comparison to the Ole Hendrickson one that it's just, I don't think it's worth it. So I would definitely skip on that one. But some Sunday Riley products that I would get, I really, really enjoy these. I had two samples of this. Um, each one was five milliliters. So I got 10 milliliters worth of product. And I was able to use this serum for maybe two weeks to see if it worked. This is the CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So it has basically like vitamin C. It kind of smells like oranges. There's also also like a moisturizer which I've tried um, but honestly it's too heavy of a moisturizer for my oily skin but I really do like the serum as like a really good vitamin C serum I, en I enjoy it Sunday Riley I think is being carried now at Ulta so I'm, I'm gonna see if it, it if it's part of like the Ulta 20% off coupon all right I have some drunk elephant products here I have the drunk elephant C tango multivitamin eye cream I did use this up and I even opened up the um, container here and it you can pull like the bottle out of the container and I even like opened it up and like used a scoop to get all of that product <laughs> from um, you know inside of this. And I really did enjoy this eye cream but I, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it yet. It did a really really good job. This was half a fluid ounce and I honestly didn't use a full pump. So it has the pump here. I never fully pressed down on the pump. I only did like maybe half a pump to get enough cream um, for both of my eyes. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this because I am currently trying a few samples. I have a few of the like little deluxe size samples of eye creams and I may find one in there that I like better than this. But this was a good eye cream. I used this for about, I wanna say it was like 
six to eight months that this lasted me. I would repurchase this if it wasn't for the fact that I'm trying out a few samples. So we'll see, we'll see if I end up repurchasing that. Here is the Chi Catatonic Hydration Interlink Chi. Yeah, uh, tea tree oil con conditioner and shampoo. I had the travel size bottles of this. I wanted to try these out. They just had like a really strong like tea tree scent to them, like really, really strong tea tree scent to them. And it stripped away too much of my hair color um that I, pr I probably wouldn't purchase a full size of that because of it because of the fact that it stripped away my color all right i have a perfectly posh moisturized 911 it has caffeine and like vitamin c it has like orange or citrus oils in here it smells like oranges i really really love this product but because it has essential oils in here if you don't use this product up within like its expiration date the oils do go bad so i have just a little bit left of this product i've had this product for way too long like they've repackaged this um already a couple times and i tend to go back and forth with my moisturizers uh so i didn't use this up quick enough and the oils just went bad but i just have just a little bit left of this product so i don't really feel that bad this product right here i have one more of these this is the shine bright like a diamond diamond powder microderm scrub this reminds me of the Dr. Brandt's like microdermabrasion um, face scrubs. I really love using this in the shower. It's just a really exfoliating face scrub. It's a microdermabrasion scrub. Um, it's just got really, really fine, you know, scrubby thingies in here. And I just, I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, I have another one of these in my shower. So if that is a product, um, if you're looking for a few products to try out from Perfectly Prosh, I would definitely try the Shine Bright Like a Diamond. That's so cute. That's so cute. C-U-K-E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Like cute, like cute as in cucumber. That's not really a funny name. Anyways, this was a fresh foaming face wash with aloe and cucumber. This was okay with respect to cleaning, like actually cleansing my skin. But one thing I did love about it, it does have like that cucumber scent to it and it is pretty strong, but it, it also had like this sweet kind of like marshmallow fluff. So it was like marshmallow fluff and cucumber. It really doesn't do that great of a job of like really cleansing your skin, giving yourself a deep cleanse. So this wasn't a product that I would use if I was using makeup that day and I had to do like a makeup remover because now I use like um, um, the Clinique, like one like the melt away your makeup type of things, a cleansing balm. And I really need something to kind of strip away that cleansing balm. It just doesn't do it for me when I have a makeup on. So I have one more product here. Ooh, two more products here. I have the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Serum and the Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil. I had deluxe size samples of it. And if you guys have watched my recent, my, my current skincare routine, you will see that I do have the full size of these. I ended up purchasing the full size of these after using these two products together. I got these as deluxe size samples separately and I was gonna use them separately, but I read somewhere that you should combine the serum and their oil together and that it does a really good job. Because I, I tried these together as a deluxe size sample, I ended up purchasing the full size. And that's probably a combo that I will continue to purchase for a while. I just really like that serum moisturizer because I have oily skin, I prefer serum moisturizers or gel moisturizers. All right, last product, Perfectly Posh Never Grow Up Anti-Aging Serum. I have another one of these that I am almost done with. You'll probably see another one of these in my empties. Oh, yeah. This one is okay. I mean, I feel like it's doing its job. I feel like I don't really have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles and things like that, but that could just be genetics. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I just think it works, but I don't know if it's a product that I would necessarily recommend. And I currently, like I said, do have the, a bottle that I am finishing up and I do have a few other anti-aging products that I wanna try out. There is a long comb sample that I wanna try out and then there is also the um, Bare Minerals one, the, the Skin Skinjevity or something like that that I want to try out um, their like anti-aging line. But yeah, those are all of my 
empties that I have accumulated in my bathroom for the past couple of months. So I'm gonna be really excited to get this trash out of my bathroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of my mini review of the products. Leave me a comment down below if there's any products in here that I talked about that um, you've also had the same experience or a different experience than mine because again, these are just my thoughts and opinions, my personal experience from my specific skin type and issues and all of that fun stuff that I have going on on my face. So yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumb up, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.